a cool example of a 1958 Chevrolet Impala with most of the options on it. So I was telling Damien about the three two barrel carburetor setup, which is kind of rare. Like a four barrel carb's a big deal, you know? You got a, one big four barrel carburetor that sucks a lot of gas. Well, back in the day, they would put um, one of the hot rod kind of performance setups was to do three two barrel carburetors. And so like the manifolds, the carbs, and the air cleaners are all pretty collectible and desirable. Washer, windshield washer. So it's actually a glass bottle, vacuum operated from 1958. Uh, like the power steering pump is actually attached to the back of the alternator. Kind of interesting setup. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty cool car. A little dirty, it's been sitting out in the barn. We just got it down here, stored. Down here. Um, they did a good job, you can't tell, everything looks pretty factory. But uh, a really well option car. Padded dash, it's got the automatic eye that changes the headlights. To, um, so you can have your high beams on and it'll sense oncoming traffic and dim your headlights. Uh, like I said, air conditioning, tissue dispenser, positive traction rear end. Oh, this is kind of cool over here, a speaker so you can this is a little option for the, um, I think it's supposed to be front and rear speakers. Wonder Bar radio is pretty fun. So yeah, this, this is from 1958. Oh, pause attraction rear end. Pretty cool. Um, but yeah, the Wonder Bar radio is a big option back then. Is it, you know, you'd have to, previously you'd have to tune the knob to get a radio station. Now you can just push a button it'll automatically tune to the next good station so yeah, not too bad a sound huh <laughs> tube radio from 1958 so this car has points it'll this will survive one of those what do you call it those e EMT blasts so when everyone else's car is dead and you can't drive it, this thing can get right and fired up. Because it's, uh, doesn't, it, I don't think it has anything susceptible to EMT. For commerce, essential commercial activities will not oh, be impacted. got our coronavirus update going. A strong it's got the dual, uh, dual antennas in the back. And then, uh, yeah, Wonder Bar Radio is pretty fun. Devils in the details. <laughs> Super cool. Oh well, man, so these are pretty cool too. Another little thing a lot of people might not know this. This is actually these are actually accessories. So these are uh, fingernail guards. So a lot of your cars, you know, ladies have their fingernails or rings or whatever when you reach in. So that protects your paint when you open it up. But listen to how that make cars like that anymore, right? Don't. So yeah, it's pretty cool, man. This thing's got all the bells and whistles. It's like your, kind of your luxury car for 1958 or your General Motors, Impala. Really, I think one of the first years, of the, I think this is the first year of the Impala, actually. And uh, very, very classic car. American graffiti style. This car doesn't have all options. It does have a 3-2 setup. It's been a little bit more hot rotted. So you can see it's kind of lowered in the front. And instead of having the traditional Impala hubcaps, um, my dad, he's, I love his style. He really digs the um, beanie hubcaps with an Impala spinner and just the, just the beauty ring. So back in 1958, you couldn't just go get fancy wheels or 
chrome wheels or anything else. So guys would use their imagination, mix and match um, stock pieces to kind of come up with their own look. So that, since I was a little kid, man, that's always been my dad's favorite look is uh, beanie hubcaps, Impala spinners, and chrome beauty rings. But this is actually an all original car, completely unrestored, pretty low mile, original paint, original interior. More on this one later. Yeah, we'll get into this one later.